I've kind of been really looking forward to this and also really dreading it. I'm going to do my accessories and jewellery and I've never done a proper declutter of that before so I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Don't judge me. So obviously I have these shelves kind of things here. Kind of a little bit of a nightmare when you're trying to store bags because if I store something all the way in the back it's just never going to get found. So I've mostly just stored my boxes in the back. And here I have belts. This isn't too bad. Once you've organized it one time it is very difficult to sort of mess it up. Honestly this is just kind of horrific I am aware and you can probably like see why I keep re-wearing the same stuff because it's impossible to see anything. Then I have this drawer. I think I'm supposed to have my scarves in here. I have to go through here. Then I also have this drawer and I can tell this is just like random boxes like perfume boxes, jewelry boxes, nail glue. Why is that there? Here I just have some clutches. It's not too bad. So I'm gonna start with this because it is the worst and I also feel like once I get that done, the rest will feel a lot easier. So I think I'm gonna get like, put everything in categories. Rings, all the necklaces, all the bracelets, earrings, then declutter from there because if I go piece by piece it just feels a little bit too disorganized for my brain. I've already found pieces that I love so much and I forgot I had. I have this that sort of hooks to your short collar like these two bees they're super cute but they are so tangled that whenever i look at them i'm just like I, I i don't have time to sort of undo this now or they're just hidden right so shockingly going through that even though there was a lot i forgot i had i know there is more so hopefully it's gonna be in here all the shame laid there for the internet to judge it's okay, I'm judging myself as well, so... I have missed this, and it's so silly that it's been, like, one drawer over from where I've been looking for it. Like, there are so many cute things here. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna move everything here over to that drawer there. So I have these brooches here. I know I'm missing a couple. I have earrings here. Ow! <laughs> Necklaces here. I have a lot of pieces here that I never wear because I don't like them. I feel like my taste in jewellery has changed as well, but I've just held on to things because I justify it due to it being kind of small and easy to store. I think this video is evidence that clearly i don't find it easy to store i find it easy to hide and make a mess out of i have way too many necklaces i don't have like one that is going to fit into here even though i kind of wish i did as i normally do in my declutters i like to sort of talk through the pieces that i have i actually have two rings here and i wear these are some of my most worn rings and they are actually from mango they are gold plated and i have been so incredibly impressed with the quality of this I love this open ring. I also have a sort of thinner version of it. I have this ring here that I wear all the time. I paid almost nothing for it. I think I bought it off of eBay or something. And then I have lots of this jewelry that I've had for a few years. And as you can see, this is as tarnished as can be. And I love the shape of this sort of knot here. But I mean, I'm never gonna wear something as tarnished as that. So I'm just gonna try to find a new version of that but this Kate Spade ring is so beautiful and I'm kind of so annoyed that I've had it hiding in this dust bag so I'm just gonna put all the stuff I'm getting rid of here how incredibly cute is this sort of tiara type of ring I can definitely push it over my finger but I'm not going to because I know getting it off is going to be way difficult it's a little bit too loose on my pinky I'm not gonna wear it so this lips kind of ring. I think it's really cute and this is actually adjustable in the back. This beautiful three pearl ring. I love how over the top this is. So obviously this is going to be staying in my collection. Then I have this kind of ring. I don't even know why I bought this. This was such a bad idea. I think I thought I was a way cooler than I am. Like it's supposed to sit on your 
finger like this. In reality, I never wear this because it just, it falls off. It's really bulky. It's really kind of uncomfortable to wear. And I never end up wearing this. Like maybe I could wear it for a picture or something, but I hate having stuff here that I don't actually wear. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I never make such an idiotic thing again. Then, because that wasn't bad enough, I think I bought it in a pack of like several and it came with two of these rings. I definitely not, don't need two though. That is so incredibly overkill. I'm, I'm pretty sure now that it came in a pack because these like cross design things as well, I had two of, which again, just really unnecessary. More stuff that's tarnished this half moon design thing. First of all, it is tarnished, but also when I wear it, it just really easily pinches my skin sort of between these two pieces. And also these are surprisingly sharp. It is ready to be gone. I'm still not sure about this ring right here. I'm close to getting rid of it just because it doesn't fit in here. Okay, it fit. And then this one I got not too long ago. Recently, I've just been so much more drawn to the kind of pieces that are more colorful. Oh, I can push it. Like it's this cute rainbow design, but I know it's gonna be really difficult to get off. Obviously, I'm not gonna keep this. So these are the rings that I am left with. It's definitely an improvement as to what it was, but maybe I should do necklaces next. Okay, I'm not gonna go straight into organizing, I'm just gonna go into what I'm gonna keep. I do like this chain, it's a lot less aggressive than this one, so I think I'm gonna justify keeping both of them. I do really love the sort of chain style. And then I have this very simple chain, and I don't know if you can see it, but it is so incredibly tarnished. Obviously getting rid of that. Then I have this necklace here. I was being an idiot. I think I got it off of Amazon or something really inexpensive. So I knew I wasn't going to get anything very fancy. But this is, this is plastic and it is really easy to just bend. It is so incredibly light. It just feels so horrible to have on and I've never worn it. I'm really sort of ashamed of myself that I bought that so I'm I'm just gonna learn not do that again. Then I have this chain thing and honestly I probably bought this over 10 years ago and most of you looking at at this are probably thinking this is so dated, this is so gross, just get rid of it and I totally understand. I think I'm gonna store this away though because as we all know, fashions come in cycles and I love this so much when I bought it. It's not something I wear right now, but I just know that it's such a special piece that I might actually wear it again. I bought this from an independent designer in Germany, so I just think that it's something that is worth holding on to. So that is what I'm going to do. Oh my gosh, I hate this. I hate this. Okay, I have this very, very, very thin necklace and this looks so beautiful right this really interesting chain like this twisted design it gets tangled up all the time i think i have worn it maybe twice because whenever i'm going to wear this i need to have time to untangle it because it is just such a mess and it tangles even when i have it on me it is just horrible i'm gonna get rid of it and stop having it in my wardrobe all right i have this necklace again i think this came from the same era as this necklace i think i got it from a high street shop and i do really love the sort of bronze detail and everything but i don't wear this anymore this is not something i feel so attached to that i feel like I would want to store it and keep it for many years. So it's kind of nice, but I, I never wear it. I haven't worn it for many, many years. So I'm going to get rid of that. Then I have one of these sort of um, necklace chokers that were so popular, what, like three, four years ago. Never wear that anymore. I'm gonna get rid of it. I know, again, this design is just not something that is popular right now. But again, this is just something that I I like so much that I'm going to store it. I have another one of these really simple chains that is incredibly tarnished, getting rid of that. And then I have this sort of Y necklace. It is rose gold with these very sort of sparkly rhinestone type of things on it. I think it's cute, so I'm gonna keep this one. I'm going to be left with almost only 
chain necklaces. Then I have this yet again another statement necklace because I have loved the piece for so many years. I just think that it's something that I'm going to hang on to for just a little longer. It will be so frustrating to have gotten rid of pieces that I actually still like just because they're no longer in style. I'm going to get rid of everything in this corner right here, put this into storage and then I can just put these necklaces. <sighs> Didn't I say it was no way going to fit in here at the start of this? And look where we are now. This clear out here really helped me realize why I have been so dissatisfied with my sort of necklace wearing lately. I've just had a really full collection, so I don't really feel like I could justify buying anything else. But I really love that this is actually going to make it a lot easier to see what I have. We can all collectively laugh at me thinking I wouldn't fit everything in here, and here we are. Anyways, we're going to move on. It's looking a lot better than it did. I'm going to do my bracelets. I don't have that many, so I think it's going to be a lot easier. This one is really cute. It's the Renegade Spike bracelet. Then I have a Kate Spade bracelet here. If I seem to remember correctly, it tends to pop off a lot when I wear it, which is why I haven't worn it, because it falls off which is really really annoying i'm not really sure about this one again this knot bracelet this is just a really inexpensive version of it it's so simple but it still has a little bit of something so it makes it a little bit more unique then i have this really chunky chain bracelet i just got this it's really inexpensive i will say that but it's nice to have something a little bit different the other bracelet i have is this really big one and i'm so over this i'm so sick of it i've had it for i want to say 10 years or something it was an impulse purchase i am done with that one then I have this really simple bracelet with just some flowers on it. It's nice. And then I have my Valentino spike bracelet and this is leather and this is actually the one that I tend to wear the most. It is just so incredibly comfortable. It fits really nicely. It's held up really well. I'm going to do my earrings now and I have so much here that I've just never really worn. These silver ones that are like leaves. I don't know why I bought these silver ones because I also got them in gold. It was probably really late and I was shopping online or something because I couldn't sleep, which I try not to do anymore because it is so incredibly stupid. Let me know what you think, but these definitely look like nose rings to me. And I think I have worn them as ear cuffs, but I just tried to put them on and I can't for the life of me not do it. It feels like I'm trying to pull my ear off so i'm going to get rid of these a nose ring is not something i can pull off i feel like this was really popular a while as well i don't feel super hot on these anymore eh, i don't know if i should keep them if i'm going to like them more later but then i also feel that is definitely the way to end up having this exact problem where everything is flowing over a pair that i have never worn again because they have been hiding in a drawer after i bought them i have one of these, which is a shame because I wish I had two. It's really cute. Where's the other one? I have no idea. Here is another ear cuff, but again in silver. I don't really wear this, so I'm gonna get rid of it. So these I just think are so beautiful and they feel a lot more like what I'm really drawn to now and what I want to wear now. So seeing these makes me feel like it's a little bit more okay getting rid of these. I have these hair clips and I used to have two of these. I get one way to my sister. These were so incredibly popular. I guess maybe I just wore it a little bit too much. This one I still love. This, I have a London one and a Paris one and I just, I don't wear them. My hair always sort of gets tangled up. So I'm gonna get rid of those two. And I'm also just gonna put these brooches in the back here. This is so cute, the popcorn one. I know that I still have more sunglasses than this, but at least I found these. I love these so much. Uh, they are definitely among my favorite things in this drawer. These are the very exaggerated, I want to call them like the mean cat eye, and then this is the regular cat eye. So I wear both of those quite a bit, and I love the shape of these. They are so loose, they will not stay on my head, so I can't wear them. I'm definitely gonna buy another pair of sunglasses like this. I love the shape. It's not done yet, but it's looking so, so much better. And this was by far the worst drawer. I think I'm gonna do the belts. It looks worse than it is, I think. 
I hope. Oh yeah, and obviously I have to get rid of these sunglasses right here, which I'm so sad because I love the detail. I mean, this is staying, this is staying, this is staying, staying. This pink one I'm going to get rid of because I never wear it. By keeping this belt, I am kind of tricking myself into thinking I have this color belt. I should be honest with myself and just realize that I don't really have it because I don't actually wear it. This chain belt right here, as you can see, it is not only incredibly, incredibly tarnished. So this is, as you can see, completely broken. I'm just going to get rid of that. This one right here, it looks a lot more high-end than what it really is. It's very light, so that is how you can tell it's quite inexpensive, but it still works. So I think if I had to keep only one chain belt, it would definitely be this one. I realize I have four here and that is probably enough chain belts for a while. This just feels like a lot more high quality. It's a very different feel than the other one, so... I have obviously justified it to myself to keep both of these belts in my wardrobe. I guess technically this is another chain belt. It's a Sara belt and it is actually leather, so I was hoping this was going to hold up for a while. <laughs> but I actually really love this belt for coats in the winter time, more so than I wear it in the summer. This drawer really wasn't the worst either, but it's nice to sort of keep it in check before it gets really bad. Not really that much to get rid of here just a couple of things and then I have this drawer and this is such a mess right now you can't even really see what's going on here of course I have more dust bags but I think the main thing I want to store in here are things like scarves and I mean they're often just so hidden that I never find them I have this really big one it's at least 10 years old it's held up quite well but I mean I think that's a chlorine stain or something. It feels easier to get rid of. And then I have this silk scarf. Most of this looks like it's tights and socks. I just really wish I had a nice way of organizing these tights so it was really like immediately easy to see if it was like these are some lace tights or some logo tights or what kind of prints it was, instead of just seeing everything as like a black pair of tights. All right, I ended up yesterday by sort of organizing my bags here into these shelves. I am sure I will need to find a better system for that though. I kind of just wish I had a more shallow shelf because like trying to grab like the bags in behind here. There's a bag sort of like behind there. It's just not the most convenient but that will have to be a different day. What I wanted to show you I didn't even bring it in here. Let me go get it. I ended up getting a couple more of these inserts from Ikea yesterday. So I figured I could put those into this pullout tray. I'm just gonna start doing it and hopefully it will all work and come together nicely and be organized and preferably be organized in a way that I don't have to reorganize it every other week because that to me is always a sign that things are just not really working like it should be really easy to put things away it should be easy to keep things organized otherwise the system is just too complicated this has to be my favorite ikea thing to put together and you're done all right i mean it's really not that full so i feel like i don't have to organize that much i just kept like bag chains here and that bag hook and also some fashion tape that is really useful to have a little bit handy. I have my sunglasses here. I think two of them fit nicely. Obviously there's a lot of space here. I know I need more sunglasses. I know I have a pair in my car as well so I'm definitely going to fill out this section as well. It's better to not have it too full. Now I'm just going to go back and sort of fill in and redo this tray a little bit. So I actually managed to get most of my earrings onto this little 
thing. It's so convenient. It works both for my earrings and also for my rings. Just so useful. I kind of wish like I had like one more of these so it was a little bit bigger but at least I have space for some more necklaces here. So I guess that is pretty much the whole thing organized and here I've actually <laughs> taken out I'm wearing one of these so it's a little bit thinner but I feel so much better about this. Again my bags there's definitely room for improvement and I want to make this whole area a little bit nicer now it's just looking a little bit I don't know kind of empty. Obviously have the headbands here but I'm also storing some here on the other side. I just find them a little bit too nice to not display. Essentially that would be the whole declutter. It's as I said the first time I've done a proper declutter of just my accessories. It was mainly my jewelry though. I maybe could have gone through my headbands but I do quite love them so I figure I'm just gonna wait and do that for the next round. I do like doing declutters in several cycles. It's too hard to sort of be very strict and get rid of everything at once and I like I like doing it over and over and over again. To me it is such a relaxing activity that I don't mind. I'm just gonna link the playlist down below with all my decluttering videos if you want to see more stuff like this or how I've decluttered the rest of my wardrobe here and my shoes and everything check them out let me know what you think and just have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video bye